The purpose of this video is to give information on web service provider. This is applicable to web service provider version 8.6.1 and 9.x. Over here I'll show you how to create web service provider source and target, how to expose a web service workflow and how to run the web service workflow using the try it from web service hub and soap ui as you can see uh, in the prerequisites a license required to use the web service provider should be already there in the environment along with the web service hub as you can see I already have a web service hub created and enabled and the license required for the web service hub, hub is go is called web service provider and web service provider real time you can see it under the connections these are the two licenses which are required the web service provider source target can be created using a vestal or URL or manually. To create that, go to the sources in the menu in the designer, go to the web service provider and click on create web service definition. This is a way to create it manually. When you are creating it manually, make sure to create both source and target at a time. For that, check this option. Provide the web service name. Add the fields which you want to have it in the source and target. Change the data type. If you want to make it as not null, check those. And also if you want them to have multiple occurring element, select this option and to add a message port, add this and click on OK. This will create the source as well as the targets together. Now let's try creating the source using a visual or a URL. So you can either provide a URL or you can go to a local file. Select the Vistal file and click on open. It will show you all the modules in it. I'm selecting a simple one which is a login. Clicking on next. You can either select it as an entity relationship or hierarchy and then click on finish. Over here you can select if you want to create a target too. With the manually created source, web service source and target definition, I have created a simple mapping uh, with source, source qualifier, expression and target. Once this is created, go to your web work workflow manager and create the workflow once the workflow is created edit the workflow and expose the web services expose the workflow to the web services by enabling the web service select the service name what you want to see and you can either select it to expose it to all hubs or you can select to the hub which you want to I will select to run on all hubs and select the option visible and runnable click on OK apply and OK save the workflow once the workflow is saved go to the web service hub console select the valid web services and you can see the web services provider which we have created select the try it select the option and provide the ID and the name you can provide anything because 
it's just a sample one send the request once the request is submitted you can see the response as a status success or failure and also what is the response so the ID one and the name Manju has been submitted and in response since the web service provided target has those fields it will show those in the response we can also submit the request outside of Informatica using SOAP UI or any other Java application to do that go back to your web services select the service name select the WSDL which will show us WSDL which you can save in as a WSDL or you can take the URL copy the URL now from the SOAP URL create a new WSDL project provide the project name and give the WSDL URL which you have saved or you can browse to the location and point to the WSDL which we have saved now it will create a request like this once you provide the ID and the name submit the request it will show us the response along with the information which we have submitted the web service provider guide will give more information on the same you can give the feedback on the support videos at informatica.com or on our twitter account at infasupport